I want to talk about the government announcing today the shoplifting crackdown. Uh, it's including £55 million pounds for, for racial, facial recognition tools in England and Wales, um, a more sort of high-tech tagging as well, uh, forcing people to well, stop them revisiting the scene of their crime, people mm. facing up to six months and receiving unlimited fines uh, if they uh, do actually uh, carry on shoplifting. Um, I have to say, what a load of absolute... What's the word I can use on air? Rub it. Let's go with rub it. Let's go with the safe one. All the production team look at me going, don't do it. Don't. You know the word I'm thinking of and it begins with a B and ends in an S. What a load of absolute nonsense this is. I mean... It, it is not a question of identifying shoplifters mm. to stop shoplifters. It's not a question of like, oh, can we stop them going to the shops again? I'm sorry, they, the shopkeepers, I speak to everyone on my local high street. Yeah. Poor sods, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> um, they know who they are. Mm -hmm. It's the same people day after day. Mm -hmm. The police know who they are. Mm -hmm. They don't bother arresting them because they know they're going to send them to court. They get another slap on the wrist. They're not going to be able to pay a fine. And they're not, because they haven't got any money. Uh, they're organised gags. They're all going to mm -hmm. just disappear. And they are, they are, they're going to never be sent to prison. Why? Because we haven't got enough prison places. This is an absolute lie, this uh, crackdown. An absolute lie. There's something else actually to do with the facial recognition technology and why it doesn't actually work at the moment. And that's because ever since this government decided it would be a really good thing to mandate that people had to wear masks in public. People yeah. now have a lot of masks and a lot of people wear masks when they're committing crimes. And I've been told this by a police yeah. officer, even though we know 50 so people in the area that are, you know, the criminals, they're the, they're the thieves, we can't necessarily narrow it down beyond the 50 because they all come from certain backgrounds and they're wearing masks. And actually, the technology is not perfect. It does get the wrong. Number and of, then we yeah. get in trouble if we nick yeah. the wrong person. The number of young men, young, yes. slim men, who, by the way, were the people who were not wearing masks mm. when we were required to wear masks, yeah. where I was told I'd be sacked if I didn't wear a mask on the train mm -hmm. and things. Funnily enough, all wearing masks in the open air. Mm -hmm. Isn't that weird? I yeah. wonder why they're doing Often that. Often whilst they're cycling down the streets, you notice. You know, yeah, you think, oh, the it, odds of you getting COVID whilst you're... I mean, I'm sorry. It, it does. It, that's it, where you catch it, tell on us, the road. I mean, come on, guys, we all know what's going on. It is extraordinary, isn't it? it just, I mean, sorry. It's when ministers announce this stuff. Mm. It's like, if you haven't got any prison places to put these people in and, and no-one's actually being charged, please just stop lying to us. We know what is happening on our local high streets.